Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to award badges through Credly. The first step is to log into Credly, and then once you're logged in, what you'll want to do is go over to the Give tab in the upper left-hand corner and choose Existing Credit. Once you've chosen the existing credit, what you'll want to do is be sure that you are on the created tab and not the earned tab. And you'll be able to see that all of the badges that you are able to award. Um, if you hover over the badges, you'll be able to hit this give button. And once you have done that, you'll actually be able to start awarding badges. We can do this in a couple of ways. Um, if the person that you are awarding a badge to is already a member, you can just start typing their name in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do Ginny Chippos. And she should pop up. Well, maybe not. There she is. Okay, so then you can actually award it this way. Um, you can also manually enter somebody. So for instance, I am going to manually enter myself for this badge. Um, and type in first and last name and their email address. And you can award it that way. And you can do up to five at a time this way. Um, and then you just hit send credit. Yes, and so now, and then of course I can't give a badge to myself um, with this email address because this is actually the email address I am signed in under. Um, so it will pop up if there's something, if you've awarded a badge to this person already or the same badge to this person already, it will say, hey, no, you've done that. Or in this case, um, if you can't award a badge to yourself. Okay, and if you have realized that you have misawarded a badge, you can go ahead and um, delete the person out just by hitting this X. And actually, then go ahead and resubmit it and say send credit and say yes, I would like to send it now. And that's it. Um, you can also, if you know this is a person that you're going to be um, awarding credit to multiple times, save them to a list. Um, you can save them. So in this case, we actually have a faculty development list, but you can create a new list if you'd like um, for, I don't know, front range faculty development and save the person to that list. And that way you can just start awarding from the list. So if you go back to give this credit again, so you have another five people you want to do, um, then you can just start adding from the list. Um, the other way you can do it is with a CSV file, which I do not have, but you can just automatically upload the CSV file if you've got the first name, last name, and their email address, and it, it will actually let you do large batches of badge awards um, in that direction. And again, you just hit some credit and it goes. All right, so now what we're going to do is go through how a student will see this once they have been awarded a badge. Okay, so what the student sees once they have been awarded a badge is that they will get an email and you'll just wanna make sure that your students or your faculty are prepared to um, be looking for this email, particularly in Gmail, if you've got rules like I do set up, sometimes it will show up in updates or um, spam or wherever. So just make sure that folks are, are keeping a lookout for it. Um, and here's what the email looks like. It basically will say something like um, the name of the badge and then that it's coming from the Colorado Community College System. Um, and it says, you know, Dear Katie, Ginny Chiepo has issued a digital badge for the LMS Profici Proficiency and in Technology Integration Mastery. To save it or share it on social and professional networks, click the button below. And this is the part we want to be sure that students understand um, because it's the part that will actually help them get jobs. Um, so they'll click on the save and share. They will need to sign in. Um, I'm already signed in as myself. Here, and it says, congratulations, Katie, you have received a badge. 
Um, and so the next step in this is to save and accept. Um, and again, we want to be sure that they know that they want to want to make it visible to everyone because the point is that they'll be able to be searched this way. Um, and then that we are a trusted issuer and you go ahead and hit accept. And then once you have accepted it, it should theoretically let you go into the badge and could be that they have to go into my credentials and it should pop right up there and they can click on this and the next part of this is they can view the whole thing they can see all the the criteria and all of that but they also want to be able to share it so um, they can share it to Facebook Twitter or LinkedIn uh, LinkedIn obviously is probably the most professional place um, and the place that most recruiters will be looking for it. But if um, if they want to share it to their Facebook or their Twitter feeds as well, that's great. Um, you know, it never hurts to have these things out there. Um, so then you just add it to your profile. Um, you can you can set it to send all the information to your friends um, or connections on LinkedIn or connections on Facebook as a status. Um, and basically that's it. It's a really pretty simple process. Um, very easy for most students to, to understand. Very easy for us to, to actually issue the patches. Um, if you have any questions though, please feel free to contact either um, Brenda, Jenny, or I. Um, we'll be happy to answer any questions for you and I'll make sure that we have um, the information popping up here on the, the end of the screen. Thanks.